and welcome back. Remember, you are watching Life and Style. It's Artistic Tuesday. In case you're wondering what is happening, we had Paintbrush with Bikali, and I'm telling you, there is amazing talent out here. And today we have Joseph Thome, who is a well-known photographer in the industry. So, do I have good friends? Yeah. Is it your camera or is it my smile? It's both. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually teach people some some moves? Can you teach me one? Because I think I was doing the same thing. Yeah, just close your I legs. I cross my legs, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Then do something there. No. no. How? Ah, simple, just this simple. This is hard. Just simple. I'm an Instagram yeah. model, yeah. not a f <laughs> not a professional model. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah. Then yeah. give me a smile. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, awesome. Come and have a seat. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I hope I have good friends. Yeah, you have. <laughs> you have very nice friends here. Yeah? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, Amazing. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. But you didn't, let me tell you the rule number one in mm -hmm. photography, mm -hmm. okay, for girls, mm -hmm. for us, for <laughs> Instagram models, yeah. is you have to suck in your tummy. Uh -huh. And you didn't tell me that. You have a very flat tummy. So it's okay. Yeah, it's very <laughs> <laughs> so just say photography, how long have you been in the game? I've been in the game uh, since uh, 2003. 2003? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it wow. started as a, as a passion. And uh, right now it's a professional job. So it started out as a passion. Before yeah. that, what were you doing? I was doing a lot of things as a, as a normal child. I was singing in, uh, in our church, in a prison worship. <laughs> For real? Yeah. So you were basket of Sadaka? I was in a prison worship and I was in a mic. What did you say? What did you say? You were in a bad Kuli kojana, <laughs> kuli kojana, yesu ni pendele o kuli kojana. So let's get your turn of being here. Hey, but they will go crazy. And then after that, <laughs> after that, what did you move to? Uh, I moved in uh, football. I was also a footballer. Oh wow! Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then football wasn't my thing, so I saw because uh, I also wanted to be a journalist. So. I took a camera and start just taking photo the photos of the players playing in the field. How old were you then? Because you told me uh, you started with singing in church mm -hmm. and then um, acting mm -hmm. and then football. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, you wanted to, to be a journalist. You know, in Africa, most, most uh, not only in Africa, maybe in the world, most kids, before you know your thing, some of us, we pass through hard things before, you know, this is a talent or uh, lack of mentors. You don't, you don't have someone who will mentor you and tell you, try this and try this. So it's very hard before you even realize your talent. Maybe even you are, you are tired of doing things, even some talents, and will never be exploited because of someone or you didn't know. Uh, this guy can do this and this guy can do this. That is very, very true. Yeah. And okay, so now you had this Mzungu who came in with that camera mm -hmm. and that was your first instinct, like attraction. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's when you started yeah. practicing. Yeah, that's when, when I started. Uh, it was an analog camera, not, not the digital one. Okay. It was a film camera. Even I, I have it, uh, maybe I'll, I'll show it. Oh, you have it in the studio? Yeah, I have it in the we studio. You have to see that. Yeah, uh, so... Um, I started taking, even I, I didn't know how, how to do it, but through through friends and through what, I knew how, how to, to, do, to, to do it later. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So after that, because obviously you need to now learn. You realize you have a passion for <coughs> this. Yeah. So did you go to school to learn about photography? Uh, for me, those times I didn't, I didn't have money to go to school, uh, but in, uh, I used to, in my secondary schools, I used to take uh, even one of uh, my students or my uh, my teacher's photos. So I used to support myself through through those. So from there, I started even going to the internet, YouTube, blogs. So how how is your market? What's your target audience? I don't target people, or I can't say this. I have to target this or this because I've realized anyone anyone is. Uh, able and anyone deserve a good photo so uh it depends on our how, how we talk yeah biggest client you've worked with i've worked with i work with swiss contact even from now oh wow um 
Currently, I, I work for Sanon Magazine. I work with Living Goods. I work with um, JW Show. I work with, in my church, I'm the official video camera guy. Amazing. And yeah. um, uh, biggest personalities you've worked with? I've worked with uh, Zubeida, KTN. Yes. I've worked with uh, DJ Mo. I've worked with I've worked with a lot of people. Any um, known models? Models. I've worked with Miss Miss Kenya, Aida Nguma. I've worked with um, even Miss Tourism. So the photos you have of me, I'm supposed to look. I expect <laughs> them to look like Miss World. Even better. <laughs> even better. Uh, <laughs> Even better. I see yeah. you have some pieces with us in the studio. Yeah, yeah. I do weddings, and before weddings, I uh, I do a pre-shoot, uh, and this is it's called a sign-on. So this one is used during the weddings. The the uh, your friends can congratulate you and write you maybe a, a message. We discuss uh, what what kind of a shoot do you want or what kind of a shoot do you expect. Then we sit with the client, then we go through uh, the props we need. We, we discuss before we, we, we do a shoot and then we become friends. So when, when doing the photo shoot, it will be like it's a kawaii thing. It's and a, it's there's a, chemistry yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a what are some thing. of the challenges you've worked with? Because like someone like me, who mm. likes a lot of photos, mm. I'll really disturb you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, are you sure that was a good angle? <laughs> yeah? And why should I pay for it if I'm not... If I'm not like satisfied with your services, what are some of the challenges we've been through? Um, there was a time maybe I, I was doing a shoot for a renowned artist called Dazda. Mm -hmm. So when they came to my studio, I don't I don't know what they they, should, they started asking me, will you be able to deliver this thing? So some clients don't believe in you, and uh, maybe ca the gears are very expensive cameras. And uh, you quote a quotation, then someone looks at you and said, why, the, why, why this money? So those are some of the challenges. Okay, so yeah. for the trust to be there and for you to get clients, how do you source for your clients? Um, referrals are one of, well, one of the best uh, things to source for clients is referral. Then marketing through Facebook. Uh, but word of mouth, I think is the best that, thing. That really works yeah, for you. Yeah, it really works for you. Even if you don't have to negotiate a lot. You're telling me something interesting before you give us your contacts, yeah? Mm -hmm. About your family, that you are all <laughs> in the arts. Yeah, but I'm the firstborn. Okay. Uh, my, our firstborn is also in arts, a carpenter, and our thirdborn, art, art and painting. And the funniest thing, it's just, I think, Arts nervous. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So how to bele na uh, uh, it just ina, comes. In a kuja tu in a in a jileta. That is jig to kapi. You may jaribu ku investigate from parent to iso generation Z. There's but nothing. Sijai, sijai ah, amazing. So how do people contact you if they are interested? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Jose Tome Photography. I have a page. I am also Jose Tome. Uh, on uh, Facebook also, Instagram, I'm at Josedome Photography, and uh, Twitter. Twitter, <laughs> yes. Twitter, at Josedome1. And your direct line, if you're comfortable with giving out your business number? Uh, 0726 637763. Can you repeat that again? 0726 Six three double seven six seven. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Okay, that has been Joseph Thome with us on photography that is under visual arts. Now coming up next, it's creative of the week. And have you ever seen charcoal look this good on paper? Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How, How are you, you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you. And wow. Wow, like how do you even do this? How do you, how do you get to have all these amazing pieces? Because it doesn't even look like charcoal. Um, let's, it rolls down to talent. To talent? Yeah. Like, first of all, just give us a profile about you before we go to the... Like I'm very, very attracted to your pieces. Um, I'm Chris or Chrisaki Arts. 
I'm an artist by profession. How would you describe your art? Um, I think it's art from the heart. Art from, ah, I mean, art from the art. Yeah. From the heart. Yeah, from the heart. <laughs> art from the heart. Yeah. A problem, it's a problem today. Uh -huh. uh, and um, I just love what I do. I do it passionately for a living. And um, I just do it because I don't have to, but I want to. But you want to. Yeah. So you'll, dis you'll say it's a calling. It's a calling. Yeah, because yes. when you have that drive and you have that passion mm -hmm. and you just find yourself going back to this, then that is... A calling. Yeah, that is a calling. <laughs> that is a calling. True. Can you describe some of your... Like, um, that is a call there right there. Yes. This the, is DJ. DJ, DJ Tabs. This is? Kalarai Mutuko. Who is that? Um, I don't know her name yet. I, <laughs> I, just, I just forgot. So probably just a, a crush, your yeah, crush. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously a photo of the um, elephants. Elephants, yeah. Yeah, which really promotes our tourism. Yes. So what really inspires you? What gives you, because I'm sure you do the pieces at different times in mm, life. True. So what really makes you think, like today, okay, today I want to wake up and I think I want to draw mm -hmm. a cover. Actually, I may say that I love photos, I just love photography but I love turning photos into unique pieces of art through charcoal and uh, pencil on paper. Ideally, I don't really have any interesting or particular subject I want to draw. I mean, maybe wake up one day in the morning and say, okay, maybe let me do something really interesting. Let me do some, some musician. Maybe I, I fell in love listening to their music and I just do it. And you just do it. Yeah. And you mentioned something very interesting. Mm -hmm. So your only materials are charcoal and pepper. Yes. Which is something very affordable. It's very affordable. But so what are some of the challenges? Because when you come down to the materials, mm -hmm. that is something that is available and it's something that is affordable at the same time. Actually, um, I, I want to clarify on something. Okay. The charcoal I use on these pieces, it's actually professional art charcoal. Ah, see, makatu yeni. See, makatu oh. yeni. I'll put you think at in here when <laughs> I'm cooking. No, 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 actually, it's professionally done. Where they add wax, they add maybe a bit of lead to give that versatility when you're drawing. Yeah, because something like um, your crush, let me call her your crush. Yeah. You can see it's very, very rich. True. So like for me, from my end, I was like, do you actually crush it and then you, no, no, you just smear it on the pepper? Oh, I just buy it from our local stores in Nairobi and... Uh, from there, I do my magic, if I may call it magic. So some of the challenges, because now if it's a professional charcoal that you use, mm -hmm. how expensive are the materials? Because then this again, is this just normal pepper? No, actually, it's called ivory pepper. Ivory pepper. Yes. How uh, available are these materials and how affordable are these materials? Okay, the materials that, that I use, they are quite affordable. They are here in Kenya. I don't have to ship them from anywhere. So I actually go buy them in Nairobi, maybe from textbook center, from science Corp in Nairobi, downtown Nairobi, at River Road. Then maybe the challenge that comes with it is the charcoal itself, the charcoal pencils. And since it's, it's in high demand, I may say, and thus I have to maybe stock myself up yeah. for a rainy day. Yeah. Maybe I may have shortage in one or the other, when I go to the stores, I get, maybe I don't have, I, I won't have to do with my favorite. What were you doing before you decided to go full time? Mm, interestingly, I went to school, I studied law. Oh, wow. Yes. And uh, actually that, that's what my parents wanted me to do at that time. So I went to school like any other kid told by the parents. Yeah, you know, like, okay, that's it, education, mm -hmm. then go get a job. Actually, mind you, I knew I could draw while I was 17, that is in Form 3. And uh, that's when I actually wanted to do this more friendly. I started by just doing cartoons, uh, doing pictures from magazines, maybe vaguely, maybe sketches and stuff. At that time, I, I thought I was really good. But as time went by, I came to know about the skills. I actually fell in love with Google. It's been my teacher. We had Joseph Ome on uh, photography and he was also saying about YouTube, mm -hmm. yeah? So it's like nowadays the internet has really, really created a lot of opportunities, yes. yeah? Because you don't really have to go to a specific school. True. You just have to put your time into doing more research, yeah? Actually, we can't actually denounce schools for now. Rather, if you don't have the skill and you want the skill, you need to go, be mentored, be tutored, 
to get that skill. But if you're talented and you know the know-how of what you want to do, just go research on what others are doing. You just ape or emulate them. Then from there, you just grow exponentially. Okay, so you only do pieces based on celebrities? Nope, actually, I do commissions too. I get calls maybe from my Facebook page. I get referred from people who just call. I do some, some art and I cash in. So I can send you my photo yes. and then you'll tell me. I'll, I'll send you my quotation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much will you sell such a piece? Because they're in different sizes. So yeah. I'm assuming mm -hmm. each size has its price. Yeah, has its price. Actually, I'll start with that piece. Can you start with this one? Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, she's Masimaira. I love her music and uh, I'm a big fan of her. Masimaira, yeah. Yes. And uh, this size goes for, it depends between 5,000 to 7,000. It depends oh. with the client. But does it go like this or do you not no, frame it? No, it's fully framed and delivered within Nairobi. Yeah, so I, that maybe let's cap it at 5,000 for this A3 size. Then there's this. This is A3. This is A3. Okay. Then the beautiful chick size is Your A2. Crush. My crush. <laughs> that goes for 7,500. Uh -huh. Then there's this bigger size. For this Caroline. goes for, yes, 15,000 oh, for wow. a single person. So if I add a face to this, it will accentuate to 10,000. If maybe these two people, these two faces, I'll cap it at 20,000, fully framed, yeah. So, and as such a piece like uh, Digitabs? Digitabs, it, it translates to the same size. Oh, it's the same, oh, it's yes. the same size, still an A3. But maybe celebrities, for animals and stuff, I have special prizes. Yeah. I'll cap that at 40,000 because oh, that's my piece. Because they're known faces. Exactly. Do you ever have certain pieces that you don't want to sell, like you hang onto them? You yes. know how you get... You know how artists are attached mm -hmm. to some of their pieces? I have this one piece uh, I did two years ago for Saudi Soul. I still have it. Not that I can't sell it, but I just love it. I wish you had carried it. It's framed it's my house, so it was really bulky. And um, ideally, when you're drawing a piece, you just... There are emotions when, when you're doing everything. The emotion that you attach to that piece really de determines how soon you'll sell it or how late will sell it. And maybe for some soul, I just want to hold it longer, maybe. I'll cap it at 6,000. And, and now it's them. really, yeah, I think you should until when they win a Grammy. Yes. Because you know, they just won a Mama's. Yeah, they did. Which is huge, because it was the only, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. the only award uh, in, in in East Africa, yeah? yeah. So you should really hold on to it. Because yeah. they're really setting the first high end. The more, I'm, I'm assuming, the more the arts. Um, it's like wine. Fine wine. Yeah. yeah. The more years, the, more the, more years, years, the better. The better the price. And the higher the quality. Yes. Okay. Now, um, one thing that mm -hmm. I really wanted to find out is that now, since you're doing it full time, mm -hmm. does it pay you bills? Um, art is like farming. Art is like farming. I can't really, I won't sit here and lie to you that it generates income day in, day out. Just like you have a season in, in farming, we have a season in art where I get clients at a particular stage, I get so much money, then I go for a dry spell, I go recharge, then it comes, it's just like that. What happens when you're in that dry spell? Mm, I do some other things. Apart from art, um, I venture into music a little bit. And, like you um, sing? Yeah. Can you sing? Maybe. My favorite from Sauti Sol. Okay. Kuliko Jana. Ah. My rendition, not theirs, my oh, rendition. Oh, your own cover. Yes, my cover. Bwana ni mokozi wangu, tena ni kiongozi wangu, anani penda, leo kuliko jana, baraka zake hazikuishi, sikama binatamo padiliki, yesu ni pende, leo kuliko jana. Kuliko jana, kuliko jana, yesu ni pende, leo kuliko jana, yeah, kuliko jana, kuliko jana. Amazing. Yesu ni pende, leo kuliko jana. Good Lord, Something. that is nice. Like, so you are... 
an artist. Yeah. Fine art. And at the same time, you sing. I sing. Oh, I'm a singer, songwriter, rapper, blogger. Blogger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And others. What are you not? Because you are multi-talented, yeah? Mm. So what do you blog about? You mentioned about blogging. Um, my blog is called Deeper. Just go deeper into stuff. Maybe I just go deeper into the enchanted territories that concerns life, Christianity. Yeah, being a man and stuff. Okay, so for someone who has a talent and they don't know where to start, mm -hmm. you know, because you mentioned about then getting materials called ivory pepper, it's not even just normal pepper, even the charcoal. Yeah. Like, what would you advise them to do? So, like, for you, you found yourself in low school and then now you're like a panel. I just need to follow my passion. Yes. What would you tell them? The first point, you have to know what you're born to do. That's, that's I think that's the number two thing. Apart from being born, wh why were you born? So we have to really know our purpose in life. I know my purpose. I know everything that I am meant to be in life. I'm 20 something years of age and uh, at this stage, I know my direction in life. Maybe a person, in, uh, you're 30 years of age, but you don't know what you want. You're sitting maybe under a desk, just doing something you don't really love. Why? Because society denotes you to be that lawyer, to be that, that nurse, to be that accountant, but you don't want to be yourself. And maybe you're meant to be a businessman, you're meant to be a model, you're meant to be an artist, a singer, a writer. You have to really know what drives you. And that one thing that makes you wake up that morning, yeah. you have to know. Good. Because if that you don't... Very good. It's true, you have to do what you love. Because yeah. they say when you do what you love, that's when you do it you're at your best. Yeah. Exactly. And we say we have this motto on life and style, like the best project you can ever work on mm -hmm. is you. Definitely. Definitely. So your contacts, Chrisaki, where do we get your pieces if someone is interested? Okay, um, on social media, you find me. My, my page is Chrisaki Arts, K-R-I-S-A-K-I -I Arts. Just say that again. K-R-I-S-A-K-I -I Arts. Or my personal page is Chris Chrisaki. Find me on Instagram at I am underscore Chrisaki and Twitter at Chrisaki Arts or I am Chrisaki at I am Chrisaki. And your contact, your business contact? Yeah, I use my, my personal number. As my... Are you comfortable giving it up? That's okay. Okay, what is it? 0727. Seven seven one eight eight nine. Do you want to say it again? Oh seven two seven 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 one eight eight nine. Amazing. I'll still highlight to you about my piece. Yeah, that's but okay. obviously with a discount. Uh, yes. Since you employed, I'm yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> that has been Chrisaki on Creative of the Week. I'm telling you, people are talented out here. You really need to know what you're talented in, what you're skilled in, and do it because when you do what you love, you give it your best. Now, before we go on a short commercial break, we have spoken word. This is the best like line. Spoken art is just amazing. It's just amazing. Now, if you want to be featured, remember you can contact us on our social media platforms. That is Twitter and Instagram, same handle at KTN Life underscore style, Facebook at KTN Life and Style, and our SMS number is double two eight four zero. Or you can also hit us up on WhatsApp. That is oh seven zero zero fifty seven forty seven forty seven. Let me check that again. Oh seven zero zero fifty seven forty seven forty seven. We'll be right back. Sinijuzi <laughs> I will write of how me and my boys were involved in this club fight. Man, I have these crazy punchlines running in my head. Ni sick. Na siyezi resist kuziandika. And yes, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak.